Hey, it's been a long time since I have been able to be down here and make a video. Um, sorry if I sound awful, but I feel awful. I've been sick for the last, like, week. It's not gonna stop me from making a video, though. What I wanted to do today, originally, was talk about a thing I've already talked about before, but instead of doing that, I want to do a little story time. So, yeah. As most of you, I think I've made this, I haven't really kept this a secret. Um, for the last four years, I've been trying to find new work. I don't like what I do for the monies. Um, and in case you're new here, hi, my name is Liz, and I don't like what I do for the monies right now. But I recently applied for a job that I was really hopeful would be the job that I could have be a career, because it related to what I went to school for all those years ago, and it related to a lot of the experience that I want to use and a lot of the experience that I have that I'm proud of. I got called for an interview and it went exceptionally well. The company seemed like a really great place to work for and I was really excited about the opportunity for working for a company that actually appreciates their employees, which is apparently an uncommon thing. Basically, I started to look at this job as like the Goblin King and my current job was my obnoxious little baby brother Toby. Goblin King! Goblin King! Wherever you may be, take this child of mine far away from me! Which sounds weird, but is true. And I really started to get nervous that, you know, if I didn't get this job and believe it, all that fun stuff. They said that they would call me back uh, in two weeks for a second interview if I was gonna get called back for a second interview. So three weeks later, they did end up calling me back for a second interview and I was very, very excited because in my experience, when I get a second interview, I get the job. And the second interview went exceptionally well and I even said, you know, I would love to come and work for you. I feel like I have a really, this would be a really good fit for me and then I have a lot of skills that I could use to benefit your company. And they said they would call me back at the, they would have a decision made by the end of the month beginning of next month. So at this time it was like about February. By mid-March I still hadn't really heard anything and my anxiety levels were just skyrocketing. So I uh, ended up having a really really bad anxiety attack which um, if you've never had one before and I've never had a heart attack before but if you've never had an anxiety attack before it feels like a heart attack. It Like all the symptoms that they list in the WebMD yeah, it, that's what it feels like. It, it literally feels like you're having a heart attack. I actually had, this is not the first one that I've had, but this was like one that was so bad for whatever reason, uh, I actually thought I was going to die. So that was fun. And that was sort of a turning point for me, is that realizing, you know, that, that it was just entirely in my head and that I didn't die. I ended up scheduling an appointment with a doctor to make sure that, you know, I was healthy and everything. And that realizing it was all just in my head made me realize that I could change my thinking had this moment where I realized that this job that I wanted had all of the power. And when I realized that it had no power over me... You have no power over me. You have no power over me. I was able to just let it go. That was an amazing feeling. And so I let it go and I stopped caring about whether or not I got it. Shortly after that, I ended up not getting the job but I'm pretty sure that there is a lesson there. And I think that the lesson is I'm not meant for corporate America, which is totally fine because not everybody is. I realized I had to basically completely rebuild my self-confidence that I wouldn't need anything else or anyone else to lean on. And I'm still really working on that and it's gonna take me a long time, but I feel so much better now because I give myself permission to fail and I don't beat myself up when I do. And I give myself permission to work on things that make me happy and not just do all of the things that I have to do all the time. I also work on being nice to myself and treating myself like I would somebody that I love because I also love me too, right? These things seem like things that everybody should just, yeah, but they're not always. I am at a point now where I realize that I am the babe with the power. Power. Power voodoo. Oh, you do. They're what? Remind me of the baby. And that is a really, really great feeling. For the first time in a, ever, actually, 
I feel like I am on the right path. Oh man, it feels so good. Yeah. It feels so good to be here. And to be alive. I mean, not dying is a surefire way to appreciate life. We'll see what happens next week. All right. Bye. Hey, two things that me from the past forgot to mention. One, me and Zainab are starting a collaboration channel. There'll be a link in the description of this video. If you're interested, go ahead and check that out because it should be a lot of fun. Two, to all of my friends that are out there and still doing beta, keep up the good work. I have been watching all of your videos. Sorry if I can't comment on every single video, but it's a lot of videos. So I'm very proud of you though, and keep doing the thing. All right, bye for real this time.